In this Three Bros episode, we talk to Alan Nation of Death Sports Kids, and after that, we head over to Avenue Axe and Port Natchez to check out what they have over there and get a bite to eat. Enjoy. Hi guys, Willie and I are over here at Avenue Cafe in Port Natchez, and we're gonna have a meeting with Alan Nation of Adopted Sports for Kids. They are our charity for the race. So if you guys don't know about them, they help adaptive athletes do what they can. So they have like bowling, they have soccer, they have baseball, they have swimming, they have recitals, they have a lot of cool things that they do and we're glad to partner up with them and that's what we're doing today meeting up with him making sure that he's happy with us and we're happy with him and from our end they're a great charity so whenever you guys do register for the Nature Liberty 5k you could always donate to them directly there'll be an option there where all that money will go towards them and we do give them some money too so good deal so uh, let's uh, see how this meeting goes <music> Right, just finished over there at the coffee shop. Now we're gonna go check out Avenue X. I think they're open. Pretty sure they're open. I know they have turned to more of a restaurant, I think. So we're gonna check them out. This is this is like the main avenue of Port Nages. So definitely a place you could check out after the race. And uh, Avenue Axe is probably a place you can check out after the race too. Who knows if they'll be open. Our, our race is on Labor Day, but I'm pretty sure they'll be open. Gotta traverse some of these puddles over here. I'm wearing shoes with holes. So let's go check this place out. All right, guys, made it into Avenue Axe. We got some pizza. Unfortunately, today, the axe throwing that we wanted to do, we'll do it in another episode, but they're being taken right now. They're reserved until 6.30, so that's like three hours from now. We can't do it. We'll come here another day to do it, but a nice place inside here, if you guys haven't been here. They have lots of pizza, some breadsticks, but mainly pizza inside here. We got the pepperoni pizza. We'll see how it tastes, but definitely a place you should check out. They've got like TVs over here. They got the bar. And of course, the axe throwing and some pool tables, but I think this is definitely a place that is known for their axe throwing. So maybe we'll check out some people doing it and uh, we'll go from there. Oh, damn. So you're seeing them throwing the axe, that one lady, freaking bullseye, she's throwing it with some power. So one day we'll do it, not today. They're having fun over there. My name's Garrett, and uh, this is Lance. We bought Avenue Axe about a year and a half ago. And uh, last year and a half, we turned into a sports bar. We're selling pizza, cocktails, and uh, all that kind of good stuff now. Yeah, uh, I just feel like we needed something in this town with a little fun, kind of make it a little like Austin or you know some bars in Houston. And that's what we were missing in this town. So uh, we just went ahead and did it. So why Axe throw it? So, well, it's something different. You know, you, there's really no other axe throwing place around here, uh, from here to Lumberton, I guess, to Houston. So, something different. We got the axe throwing, and of course, the event room with it. So, uh, you can do the parties, and uh, we got Motiva here right now doing an event. So, it's, it's good for stuff like that. We're over here in Port Natchez Avenue, uh, downtown Port Natchez. And 1126 Port Natchez <laughs> Avenue, come yeah. see us. We got great cocktails and pizza. That's all right. We just got the pizza. I'm pretty hungry. I had a long, long meeting with Alan. So uh, I love pepperoni pizza. So first bite here in Avenue Axe. Ah. Should I let it cool down a little bit? Probably burn my mouth. But that's a pretty good pizza. Looks like the dough is like freshly made. Mm. So far I'm enjoying this pizza. I wish I could do the Axe ring, but maybe next time. All right guys, my turn to try the pizza right here. 
let's try a slice. This is the pizza. Nice cheesy pizza on there. Avenue Axe, this is a happening place. There's lots of people enjoying the axe throwing. Behind me, people doing the pool. So let's try this pizza right here. Good slice of pizza. It's a little gritty, which is actually good. It's gonna fill you up. And definitely gonna fill me up for a race such as the Nature's Labor Day 5K happening on September 2nd, Labor Day in Port Nature, Texas. So um, we're gonna enjoy this pizza and then we'll probably go around downtown a little bit more, check it out, and then we'll talk to you back in a little bit, in a little bit. All right, done with the Axe, Avenue Axe. I'm just gonna walk down a little bit further, check out what else is over here. I know Red Bird's Barbecue is just down the road. This is new. This is a new little pavilion. Get to walk around after we've been uh, you know, doing some stuff for the, the run. L looks like this is a new little uh, restaurant. Oh no, this is Nature's Brewing Company. Nature's Brewing Company, right here. They're, they're great. Redbird Barbecue. This place has been really getting really popular. Redbird's Barbecue. It's like top 50 Texas Monthly. They do some great stuff. I think that's about it. I, was trying, I thought there was a new coffee shop. But I don't know if it's further down, but I think that's me it. I think that's me it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode a little bit about what goes on with us when we're trying to prepare for a race. There's a lot more stuff than race day to put on a race. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget, we are Three Bulls Running Company, bringing big city race cities all across Texas. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.